Good evening, junkies. Welcome to eminijunkie.com, your ES Trading Mentor's free trading video for Friday, November 13th, 2009. Today we have a total of five executable trade signals for a maximum potential of 48 ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only, is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups and give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed via our website at eminijunkie.com. Okay, we opened up this morning and had a pattern setting up right on the open. We took that for a short, and that did hit targets one and targets two as we filled our half gap and went down within a tick of our uh, 4 p.m. close for a total of 11 ticks. And we got a bounce, uh, a little bit of a bounce off that 4 p.m. close, and we started traveling northbound up, uh, up right before the news announcements. We actually got a pullback, and our rules allow us to take a trade at uh, three minutes or greater. And uh, it was uh, right on the cusp of that, but we got in a trade, got it to reduce risk. But uh, once the news came out, we got a full stop, or we got a stop out on that. So that trade ended up with a two tick loss. And then on that news move, we actually had a very quick extension to the downside, had an opportunity to jump on that. And that, uh, that move did pr produce a nice profit, uh, targets one and targets two for 15 ticks to the downside on that news entry there. So that was a nice trade going into 10 o'clock reversal time. At the 10 o'clock reversal time, we came back down to uh, yesterday's price action there. We got a bounce off of that, traded back up through our moving average, back up to our opening price, and that was shortly there after the noon. So that was kind of a bullish sign for the market there initially. And on that pullback, we got our signal to get long, and that did produce targets one and targets two for 15 points, or I'm sorry, 15 ticks as we moved up to the daily pivot. A little bit of... Uh, a resistance on that daily pivot pulled back down to our moving average. Uh, we did not get a trading plan signal to entry here, but there was definitely an entry uh, that some members of our room did take here and was able to ride this back up for another nice trade. But as far as our rules and our trading plan, uh, that was not a signal, so we're not going to show it here on this video. But nonetheless, the market traded uh, up near the Globex high session and through that kind of meandered sideways going into the uh, lunchtime dead zone. Between 11.30 and 1.15, the red area on this chart, we do not take any trades. That is because of the lower volume and higher volatility that typically happens with the dead zone. But coming out of that uh, dead zone, we actually crossed back down, tested that Globex high, took a little bit of a bounce off that, pulled that up to our moving average, got a signal to get short, and that produced targets one and targets two to the downside for nine ticks as we went back down towards that uh, daily pivot. So that was basically it for us. It was a great day. Uh, capped off what uh, ended up being a great week for us. We had five trades today, 48 ES ticks. Again, another great week put in by our trading plan using our system and, and many of our members in our room. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching and for more details on uh, this plan, including all the chart setups, or if you want to get a hold of the plan and join our live trading room, just uh, go to our website at eminijunkie.com. Thanks and make it a great day.